again for uh, taking the time to sit down with us. We really appreciate it. Um, first of all, uh, what we want you guys to do is just introduce each other and uh, to the next person. So we're going to start with you, Jason. Introduce. And then we're going to see what you guys say about each other. You want me to introduce? Yeah. Ollie? Well, one by one. Okay. okay. And then no, Ollie's the ball. It's okay. the cameras. Go ahead. Yeah. So this is Ollie. <laughs> we call him the Moon King. <laughs> the Moon King. <laughs> and uh, I think one of the things he brings to deep voices is some funk. Some funk. Okay. Nice. Really? <laughs> Alright, so uh, yeah, this is uh, Steve, Steve Borges from Germany, and uh, yeah, he's a great guy, he's uh, my man in the studio, and uh, he brings up uh, all the technical stuff uh, with effects and um, at the producing side, so it's uh, great to have him. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. oh no, <laughs> This is uh, Jason, aka Dilute Sperling, my uh, brother here in San Francisco. <laughs> we met a while ago, and um, yeah, I think he's uh, the heart and soul of Deep Voices. Yes. Um, so, how did you guys originally meet each other? When was the first time, and how did you guys come up with the name Deep Voices? Well, we originally met <clears throat> through Mars, which was a mutual friend of ours, big trans DJ, and one of my best friends, like, in the late 90s, and uh, Mars worked with Steve on some music uh, for the Frequency 8 label, and okay, really good, good trans music, man. I, I could still play that song, and I think it would still hold up. Um, you know, Mars is like, hey, give Steve a call. Like, I was looking for someone to help me, like, produce a song. Um, at the time, this was like 2000, 2001, and so I went to Germany, never had li been out of the country, oh, wow. and I went for like a week or 10 days, and Steve and I, I think, finished like three tracks, yeah. and it was fun. Uh, we just, he invited me in his home, and um, we had a lot of things in common, like Star Trek, and we both like to like just chill, you know. We weren't like we didn't want to go out clubbing and stuff. We just like to hang out and had some really good times, man. And Steve uh, introduced me to coffee, which now I'm hooked on. Um, and he's like, I don't see, even though I don't see him every day, like I feel like I know Steve as good as I know anybody in this world. Like he's just my best friend, and we may not talk on the phone for a, a while. But when we see each other, it's like we never have been apart. You know? Now, going into your production, obviously, it's a unique style. What would you say is um, your music? What, what were you trying to influence in, into the crowd? Listen. We'll start first. I think our music is just like an expression of how we feel. That, that's it, pretty much. What do you think, guys? Nothing more to say. <laughs> Maybe a couple snare rolls for the for the fans on the, at the club. <laughs> now, opening for um, pop and other uh, skills events is a very you know very um, common for you guys, obviously because of you. Um, tell us a little bit about what you guys do during those sets. What do you try to do when you start off the night? Well, you just you know ten, for tonight we just wanted to play all the songs that we've been working on. A lot of them aren't finished or unreleased so far or just are about to be released. And that was the goal tonight, just to like hear all the new stuff. Like other gigs that we've played for skills, we've kind of mixed it up. Um, but tonight we just, I mean, these guys have been like working in the studio, um, making some amazing stuff with Alex, our vocalist, and we wanted to hear it on the big system and that was pretty cool to do that tonight. And, and if you work in the studio for such a long time, it's just great to go on the road and go out there and, and play the new tracks and get some feedback from, from the crowd to actually see that it that it works or you might have to do some changes or whatever and you see which track really works for the crowd. Gotta test them out, see a reaction. Yeah. So yeah, um, when you guys go on, or on tour, which is not very often, correct me if I'm wrong, um, what are some of the uh, fun things you guys do to keep yourselves entertained? Well, we don't really go on tour that often. It's been it's been years since we've like really gone out and done like multiple gigs. Um, uh, you know, 
I, I think like <clears throat> I remember a story when we first went out. You know, we were with Mars. Mars was touring with us, <clears throat> and he's so laid back about flights. Like he'll get there like um, five minutes before it's supposed to take off. Whereas you know, Steve, like most Europeans, they want to get there like two hours before the flight is supposed to leave. Which Steve's way more relaxed now, but at the time he wanted to get there two hours. We all know you get there 30 minutes and you're fine. But between the two, we found ourselves running in airports. And um, like one time I think, I don't know, Mars like crashed the plane, not literally, but like, like I don't know how they reopened the doors for him. <laughs> Played some like raves. It was mostly raves and like just really wild times, man. Like the warehouse raves where there's just no rules. No rules. Um, tell us more about what you guys have in uh, plan for 2013. What are some of your goals and uh, how are you guys uh, expecting to get to them? Ollie? Mm -hmm. With music? I don't know. So we, we find a new style, I think. So um, the last tracks we did um, goes into another direction, into a new direction, I think. And um, so I like it. And uh, I think we will, we'll figure it out more and uh, going deeper into deep voices. So, uh, yeah. Where do you guys see yourself in the next three to five years? I think uh, for, for me it's great to uh, it always have to be you know like interesting and, and uh, you have to have you know like a, a goal to, to go somewhere with your music and, and take it to a next level you know never stay on one level and for me it's great that especially uh, this year it's it's only be a few months and we, we made so many tracks which I think is the best work we, we've ever done so far and it's just to see that we constantly start to you know, like evolve and just uh, just go go somewhere else. Now you guys have been around for a while. You guys have seen many changes to the music scene. You know whether it's more an influence of genres, more of collaborating together. What do you guys see the industry going towards? I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, for me, really, I think the the industry is gone. To be honest, you know, there's uh, the the whole music business. It's. Uh, there's only a few people which can afford to, to live off like, like music and they don't make the money with like selling music or like physical CDs or whatever. But I think on the other hand it's, it's a good de development because uh, uh, you know you, you focus on the main thing and the main thing is the music and that's really important and it's, it's about you know, like expressing yourself and don't make any compromises for, for anyone, you know? Like, the industry is down, but on the other hand, you don't have to deal, you know, like this, with, with labels uh, so much, and, and you don't have to, to please people and, and, and change over your stuff to just uh, make someone like your music, you know? At least, uh, I mean, for, for us as a musicians, it's, it's completely freedom right now because we can do whatever we want and, and f I feel uh, without these, these boundaries uh, we've done the best tracks you know just go in the studio and don't think about like uh, where can we sell this track and give it to a label or whatever just go there do it and express yourself and that's for me uh, a good thing alright last question kind of want to ask you guys is uh, if you were to choose one other job that's not DJing, what do you think you would be today? I go first. I okay. would be a film director. And that's what I want to do in my next life. Just want to be a pilot. Um, and, uh, that's what my, my, my dream when I was young. Uh, I want to get a pilot. <laughs> Nothing to do with music. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't be a, a starship captain, um, no, I, I, I've always wanted to be a teacher. You know, when I was not not sure what I was gonna do, and I like teaching people things. I used to teach DJing at my record store, and 
just working with people. So it would have, 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 have to be something to do with teaching. Well, thanks again so much for taking the time again to sit with us. We really appreciate it. We do look forward to the new releases. Um, hopefully there's some more IDIDs we get to hear at, like, at some upcoming events. Um, thanks again, and we'll uh, see you guys around. All right, thank you, Transparently. Thank you. Bye -bye.